Hello everyone. How are you doing outside there? I hope you are doing good and in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look at something which is very interesting. So, in case you are new here, please feel free to get in touch with us. Welcome to Take Safi. This is the place we normally share ideas. We share connections we also share job connections right here so feel free to subscribe also you can like the video and also feel free to participate in our activities so without wasting much time ladies and gentlemen allow me to start so in as I've said in today's video we are going to look at some of the best IT and software institutions here in Kenya so that's our agenda for today's session so without wasting much time let's start in position one is Moringa school so in position one is Moringa School. So why am I saying Moringa School? Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Moringa School, according to my exposure or not really my exposure, or people uh, I have interacted with who have gone to Moringa they have actually to told me that their curriculum is intensive, rigorous, project based and also another tangible thing of starting in Moringa school is that you will get to be it's it's i mean it's industry oriented their curriculum it's industry oriented so also one thing you need to know is that moringa school they recommend their students and alumni to some of the big corporations like microsoft and microsoft and safaricom so Starting in Moringa school, you will never ever regret that as well. It's a good school. As I've said, their curriculum is very intensive, precurious, and also it is project based. So you'll never regret starting in Moringa school. Let's look at some of their courses. You can see they have software engineering, software engineering online they have a hybrid hybrid is a mix of online and physical they have part-time software engineering data science full-time data science part-time product design UI UX UI is simply user interface and UX is simply user experience and lastly they have DevOps engineering. Now, in position two, we have Zaleko Academy. We have Zaleko Academy. So, now for Zaleko Academy, ladies and gentlemen, Zaleko is unique in a way that their courses they offer some advanced courses like AWS training and also they offer software engineering, data science and uh, the likes. I don't know what's wrong with my screen. Okay, that's it. So this is for Zaleko Academy. You can see their courses. Photography videography, graphic design, Android application development. They have, you can see advanced courses, 
data analysis with Python, advanced web design and development using Laravel, cyber security, and then we also have project based learning. So this is what I said that uh, Zaleco they offer advanced courses like uh, okay so these are some of the advanced courses which are offered by Zaleco as you can see we have information technology specialist certifications com TIA cloud essential certification com TIA information technology foundation certification and also MOS associate which is word excel and powerpoint also the same case aws offer i mean zaleco offer aws courses as you can see on the screen aws uh, sys means system system so i can pronounce as c c ops administrator associate and also aws cloud developer aws certified solution architect architect associate aws cloud practitioner essentials so zaleco is actually uh, very nice institutions as far as the courses are concerned uh, okay now the that in the list ladies and gentlemen it's Strathmore University and uh, why Strathmore University Strathmore University actually they have very great influence in the technology called sector here in Kenya for example Strathmore University they have flashed with Microsoft for example Microsoft Auditorium it's located there in Strathmore University and also if you have heard of iLab, iLab it's there in Strathmore University. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's number three because of those two solid reasons. Now, the next one in the list, ladies and gentlemen, it is United States International University and that is USIU so why USIU oh, first thing you need to know is that USIU they normally incorporate international students for example you can find Indians Americans Asians every race actually is located in USIU even their management it's a mixture of Africans Asians Americans Indians and so forth so one very solid reason why USIU is the best in terms of IT and software it is because they have some of the best 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 facilities so if you have uh, managed if you have managed to visit USIU you will attest to that they have some of the best facilities okay now ladies and gentlemen the next one in the list is none other than but Jomo Kenyatta University of Technology so number four was USIU
so number five is jquat so maybe most of you are asking yourself why is jquat number five and not any other public university like university of nairobi yes on my side i have very good solid reasons why i am giving jomo kenyatta university of technology as number five so let's see those solid reasons why am i putting jquat as number five one solid reason ladies and gentlemen is that jquat is known of many stuff or many things for example if you hear of bank bank robberies the name jquat actually does not miss for example i don't know there was there was a case i don't know if it was last year or the other year some very intelligent and genius fellows from jquat they had dug something like a tunnel which was actually meant it was meant to to actually it was meant to find a way to the bank where the money is located so these genius fellows they had the intention to you know to steal millions of money but unfortunately i think they were caught in the process when they were almost finishing their work so they were caught and unfortunately for them so another solid reason why jquat is trending as it's because they have in the past they have been having some very nice great inflations so <coughs> if you guys can uh, if you guys can remember uh, during the covid period some if you have heard of a ventilator i know you have heard of it so some i don't know some students from jquat invented a ventilator so it was i think it was uh, it was the government actually took the initiative to use the idea from them yeah so to start this two very solid reasons why i am giving jquat as number five so now that's the my main list for the five institutions here in kenya number six uh in my list is uh we have kca university we have kca multimedia and uh, and ZTech University. So the reason why I am, I am saying KCA Multimedia and ZTech, it's because that uh, if you hear of hackathons, uh, events, city apps, one thing you realize that these universities they normally don't. Uh, they normally don't miss as in you must hear any of them for example kca i think last week or or so they participated in uh, akaton i don't know if it was ctf akaton or data science something like so so those are my very good solid results why i'm saying these are some these are among the the good or the top universities you can consider to join them so in my so in my tutorial i'm not saying that the other universities they are not good at all because there are some giant universities they are not in this list to name them is university of nairobi kenyatta university mount kenya university 
Moi Ikaton Catholic University of Eastern Africa Technical Duke Maseno just name them so I'm not trying to say that they are not good this is just my comparison according to my opinion and also according to their uniqueness because if now I say Jaquat you know there is something that comes in your mind like those bank robberies eh? you know those things so they have something unique also Moringa school uh, I can say Moringa school right now uh, they are they are what do you call they are alumni actually they are being kind of given privileges because because of their curriculum it's very intensive and also something I heard about Moringa is that students they they do a project every week so that's make them unique so you see there is kind of uniqueness in them the same case with Zaleko, Stratmore, Yusayu. Yusayu they, they are kind of international university and also take what the same and uh, photos so at this point now I want you fellows I want you to kind of make your own comparison because I am not always perfect one person cannot be perfect and cannot be relied upon on everything I want you to do your own comparison also tell me why this university should be in top three or in the list give me a solid reason also for that one and uh, lastly is that yeah I want you to just post it in the comment section down there in the description just post it to uh, reasons and I will I will see and also make to understand something which I didn't know also the same case someone else will also get to know something so I think that was it for today's video so in case guys you have you haven't subscribed please do please do so subscribe also you can like please also like the video and also comment so I want I just want to say together we stay strong and let me see you in the next one you just have a nice time